Hey everybody, just putting a video up today. Just thought I'd let you know this video was done back in the fall. Uh, it's kind of an old video now. We're just getting around to putting it up now. Uh, we also get asked lots how you can support us in our channel. Uh, and really just thumbsing it up and sharing the video is probably the best way you could support our channel. But uh, if you want to do more than that, there are some links down below in the description that Anissa puts in there. And there's various ways uh, that you could support us there as well, whether that's financially or, or just even words of encouragement. Um, all of it is greatly appreciated. So hope you enjoy the video. Uh, leave your comments down below there if you got any questions or concerns or anything like that. We always love hearing from you. Good Lord only gave me two hands, not three. So 
running a camera plus doing this. Three hands would be good. Or some kind of a stand. I don't have one in the tractor here. I have rigged myself a coffee maker right here. Since I'm spending long, long hours. So here, we're going to line up. Drop him back in. Drop the back down. And the front. Alright, I messed that up a little bit. <laughs> I wish I had a stand. I could just hang it here and you can watch what I'm doing. A little deep. Alright, so this is going to be expert plowing, but what I'm attempting to do is keep it even. So as I'm moving around a little bit, the ball might come up and down. So typically I'm constantly watching out the window here to make sure that it looks flat and even. What we don't want to happen is that the field is all dipped all over the place because then uh, when you finish, you want a nice smooth finish. So you can go ahead and cut your hay or do whatever you're going to do with this field next year and not be bouncing around like crazy. So yes, it's lumpy looking right now, but that'll smooth out. It's just, if you create big groups, uh, yeah, hard to explain maybe, but, but anyway, you could end up creating big groups along the field and then it'll take years to work them back up. So typically, I'm constantly looking behind me, raising and lowering to make sure that it's, it stays nice and smooth. Uh, what else to tell you? Oh, yeah, I was showing so I built this in there, temporarily it all comes out, but somewhere to put my lunch pail. We got a coffee maker right here. I keep my coffee here. Case International did provide me with a cup holder over here, but it's kind of useless. And if I have one of my children with me, then they're sitting here usually, and I can't use the cup holder anyway. And plus I find that it tips out of here a lot, falls over, and this one here sits in there pretty good. Down here is where I keep the case of water usually, but I'm pretty well out right now with water. Uh, anyway, it just gives me some room. I don't have stuff floating around on the floor in the cab here. Just me again. I was uh, asked to do a little close up on this thing in my tractor, so I'll do that. This here is a coffee maker. 
Uh, this normally runs on 18 volt Makita battery. It can also run on a 12 volt one here, which told me that this machine can either run on 12 or 18 volts. So I emptied out a dud battery I have. It's just an empty shell now, which still has the, the prongs on this side that I need to hook up to there. And I rigged that up to a wire out the bottom. I had originally hooked it up to a cigarette lighter, but that's a lot, like it, it, it's a lot of draw and I was worried about melting the wires. So I hooked it up to this bigger wire instead. It runs down directly to my tractor battery. And as long as I rev the tractor up just a little bit, not a lot, because it needs a bit more than 12. At 12, this thing thinks the battery's dead and it shuts off. Um, and otherwise it works just fine. You can uh, put coffee pod things in here. I can't quite open the drawer all the way. Basically, I'm just using this to heat the water. And then I have instant coffee with me in here that I mix in my mug with some honey. And I'm good to go. But you can use this for tea or coffee. You put water in the top. It's got a dish there, lines on here to measure how much water you need. Cats meow. I use it for construction all the time when we go to jobs. And now I stuck it in here. And, uh, you know, I'm bouncing around in here for 15, 18 hours at a time. It's sure nice to be able to stop and make a cup of coffee. I can't do it on the go. The tractor bounces too much. Water sloshes everywhere. The machine doesn't like that. But uh, I just pull over for, oh, I don't know, three, four minutes or something and, and make myself a coffee. Works good. Well, hello, hello. It is nighttime now. We're still going. Uh, oh, I don't know, 7 o'clock now, I think. You can tell it's pretty dark out. You can still see, but not real good anymore. And the lighting on the camera is boring. We put the LED light on the front here. Well, you can see how we can still see it a little bit with the camera there, right? I can see it too, but it's getting too dark to drive. And that definitely helps. And on the back, same thing, we got pretty good lighting. So I can still see if we're doing a decent job. Anyway, my plan is to make it to there. See where that brown dirt is over there? I'm hoping to get this stuff done yet tonight. And then we'll call her a day. So anyway, hope you learned something, hope you enjoyed. We will catch you all in the next one. God bless you.